Recall Maxine from living. Single behold her and her spouse united. Much like the realms of Lord of the Rings or Game of Thrones, our arsenal includes maps, glossy images, and vivid character sketches. We're architects of universes, crafting realms we're thrilled to share with you. Observe her gaze at him as if he were her universe. Alas, this tableau held but for two fleeting decades. Reflect upon this, though not steeped in faith back then or now, one tends to absorb certain notions about dreams and desires. The 80s were my backdrop, a time when clandestine playboy finds in an automobile stirred turmoil, risking chastisement. Yet today's landscape harbors greater perils. Hollywood's elusive gems, a scandal-free luminary, and a duo unwavering since vows were exchanged. Erica Alexander might embody the former with grace, yet fortune in love seems elusive. Fame's burden brings unique relational strains, far from the ken of the masses ranging from invasive public scrutiny to the covert exchange of intimacies by outsiders. For Alexander, the scenario was nuanced. Departing from a bond of two decades is a saga distinct from fleeting liaisons, defying the transient nature often attributed to celebrity unions. Her marital dissolution wasn't merely routine Hollywood fare. It stemmed not from infidelity, but a mutual crescendo of unresolved issues, rendering the split profoundly impactful. This narrative gains depth as fans and media alike delve into the intricacies unknown unveiling layers to our esteemed actress's tale. Despite her seasoned career, generational shifts mean many admirers hail from an era predating Gene Z, explaining the muted media frenzy around her divorce. This, however, does not diminish her star quality. It merely underscores her ability to steer clear of controversy. Yet, the limelight invariably invites scrutiny making her lengthy marriage's dissolution a focal point of public and media intrigue. For those unacquainted with Erica Alexander, you might have missed living single. Her portrayal therein shouldn't be likened to mere roles. It's a testament to her craft's depth and the assumptions people make about the industry's workings. Despite her divorce's history, its intricacies are only now coming to light. Alexander's bond with Tony Puryear though legally severed since 2017, retains a collaborative spirit through ventures like their acclaimed graphic novel Concrete Park. In dialogues, Alexander lauds Tony as an indispensable ally in predominantly white spaces, despite their personal parting. In a candid exchange with Jasmine Summers for YeWeb, Alexander touched upon the poignant journey from union to separation, challenging her own convictions about matrimony. Her narrative reveals a profound attachment to the marital identity, unanticipated given her initial ambivalence towards marriage. Her journey into marriage was not one of whimsy, but of profound connection, marking a significant chapter in her life narrative. Post-divorce, Alexander's stance on romance remains discerning, eschewing the digital dating sphere for a more intrinsic fulfillment. Her reflections offer a window into the profound companionship, love, and trust that define her, independent of her marital status. Reflecting on her marital epic, it's hard to envision its culmination, given the mutual respect and admiration that once flourished. Alexander's journey transcends her screen roles, encompassing a rich tapestry of experiences and achievements, yet her marriage remains a pivotal aspect of her personal saga. Her partnership with Purier was not just a marital union, but a confluence of creative spirits celebrated through their shared ventures and mutual respect for diversity and artistic collaboration. Alexander's persona marked by an unwavering confidence and elegance, has endeared her to many, transcending her professional achievements to become a beacon of inspiration. Her legacy is punctuated not just by her roles, but by the genuine connections and impact she's fostered throughout her career. Since her emergence in the late 80s, Alexander has left an indelible mark on entertainment, 
from her iconic role in Living Single to her compelling performance in Get Out. Her journey, marked by grace, resilience, and an unyielding dedication to her craft, continues to inspire and resonate with audiences across generations. Erica Alexander's saga is a tapestry of grace under pressure. Her poise in the limelight belies the hurdles she faced breaking into the acting realm. Her narrative took a pivotal turn in 1990, landing the role of Pam Tucker on The Cosby Show, a milestone she reminisced about on The Breakfast Club. Cosby's counsel, emphasizing dignity and restraint, was a heavy mantle that challenged her comedic ease. Her journey took her through the cultural shifts of the 90s, where Living Single found its groove alongside Martin. Yet, the creation of a primetime block for Black-centric shows stirred unease in Alexander, fearing a segregation that might marginalize these narratives. Her apprehensions pointed to a broader concern, the pigeonholing of content by color rather than merit, a stark departure from her mainstream experiences. This stance perhaps unsettled industry moguls, ensnaring Alexander in a battle over equitable pay. Despite her rich resume, the pushback from a producer over a declined role was both shocking and enlightening, revealing the stark realities of systemic bias and underappreciation. The ordeal, culminating in an on-set breakdown, left scars and an ingrained apprehension of the studio environment further exacerbated by a change in representation that seemed to echo her dwindling industry cachet. The fallout was not just emotional, but tangible, as Alexander navigated the diminishing visibility and opportunities in mainstream media, resorting to roles in judging Amy and other dramas a far cry from her high day. The industry's evolution, or lack thereof, towards inclusivity and fairness seemed to stall, leaving talents like Alexander in a lurch, culminating in personal financial crises that underscored the precariousness of an actor's life, irrespective of past accolades. Despite these tribulations, Alexander's resilience shines through, even as her personal life, notably her marriage, underwent its own public spectacle. The public's reaction, ranging from schadenfreude to empathy, encapsulates the complex relationship between celebrities and their audience, a dynamic Alexander navigates with the same dignity that marked her entrance into the world of acting. In the grand tapestry of Erica Alexander's career, each thread reflects a battle, a triumph, and a testament to her unyielding spirit in the face of an industry rife with challenges. As her story continues to unfold, one can't help but ponder where do we stand as spectators and participants in this narrative of resilience, recognition, and respect 